<sighs> Update. So it's been like seven days since the last time I talked to y'all about the sneaker I was supposed to be buying from the go that I kind of figured this was gonna happen. All right, I'm lying, bro I actually I I knew this was gonna happen, bro. I went on a Goat app and I was buying a sneaker and that sneaker was being sold for about $780. I put in an offer for about $630, $620. I forgot what the original offer was. After three days, the offer wasn't accepted. So I said, forget it. I'll go ahead and pay those $780. I'll go ahead and pay the original price that the seller was asking for, which was $780, which is still way below the market value for a pair of original off-white Vapor Max. So I paid the $780 plus tax. Everything ended up almost $900 and it has been almost a week since I paid that. Now, I've never sold on Go before. I have no understanding on how long it takes people to sell on Go. I have sold on StockX before, and I know with StockX, you have only a certain amount of time before you can sell a shoe, before like you're either punished for some type of delayment on like shipping the shoe. This is why I'm upset. I don't think I'm one of those people that play like the blame game. I'm not coming into the situation looking like, who can I blame, whose fault is this? Like, that's not even who I am. Now, what I can say is the few times that I have used Go app, which was a few times, I'm not gonna lie, majority of those times was very unbelievable. Pleasant. This you right here. I literally bought this from the Go app not too long ago. It was probably one of my best pickups and best deals of the year. I'm big enough to go that. All right. When it came to this purchase, it was amazing. Everything went through. The payment, the shipment, everything was fine. But so many times I bought sneakers through the Go app, and shoes get canceled, or the seller cancels, or they realize that damn, you know what I'm saying? I sold this for a price that wasn't where it was supposed to be. Like, bro, what about? the buyer. I feel like sometimes, man, they protect these sellers a little bit too much because it's not my fault I'm trying to cash in on an opportunity. What I think is happening right now, and this is why I'm kind of expanding and almost ranting, is because, I'm gonna show y'all this real quick, bro, just so y'all can understand my frustration. Oh, y'all see it, purchases. My most recent purchase was a size 12 off-white Vapor Max, that's number one. Up under it, you can see the shoes I literally just showed y'all, the crawfish dunk. My problem is, even though I bought this shoe almost two weeks ago, and the status says ordered, let me show y'all that too, you see that? status ordered whenever i go and track to see how the shoe is doing and try to track like the current location of the sneaker to see if it's been ordered to see if it's been shipped out to see if it's even arrived that freaking go for approval this is what comes up which means it's still in order stages so the seller hasn't even confirmed it yet the seller hasn't started packaging it yet shipping to go deliver to go verify none of these things happen it's already been almost two weeks i'm just like bro it is so unfortunate that this app number one i understand that it takes long because it has to be a long process before even get to the go app to be like actual authenticated but when you don't put a timetable or like i said i've never sold on go before but it don't feel like it's a timetable because there's no way i didn't either a get my money back b get an email talking about what's been going on c at least get like uh, uh, any information on if the seller took them down if they've been already sold which if that's the case the seller should be penalized because get somebody like me coming through i'm looking for a pair of off-white shoes i see them going for a ridiculous price i jump on that we all know that a lot of people have been taking advantage of the market because virtual recently just passed and with that passing a lot of the sneakers originally have went up over 100 in resale price if you don't believe me i just throw a picture right here of the off-white air jordan one chicago's which is going for a crazy ridiculous amount of money but what i think happened here is somebody uploaded the off-white vapor max for a price the price was 780 dollars i bought the pair i seen them i think i bought them after the death and he realized like damn this shoe was actually going for x amount of money i think i messed up now this pair is on the go app right now that's ds going for five thousand dollars remember i bought this pair used lightly because i didn't really care if they was lightly used i'm gonna wear them as soon as they come in you know what i'm saying it's like one of my dream sneakers it's my whole point of buying this shoe is to commemorate my 100k and to buy myself something nice man you know what i'm saying just congratulate me the problem is i don't feel like the sellers on this app actually get penalized enough for changing their minds changing prices or just not complying with actually shipping the shoe and it hurts the buyer because my experience with the go app is now tarnished because not only did this happen today but this is not the first time it happened I I don't even know if it's still in my order history since I had to get refunded my money and technically I never bought them because the seller kind of changed his mind. But actually, you know what? Here it goes right here. Shout out to my boy T Ward. I called him. I remember when this happened. This was like a few years ago. This says flat out canceled. The Kyrie 3 Mamba mentality. Right here, size 12. As y'all see, the status says canceled. That's like the second one. What happened with this nigga was the same exact thing. I wanted the Mamba 3 mentality Kyrie's and they sold out completely. I rushed to the Go app, I seen the pair going for under retail, and as soon as I bought that pair for under retail, like maybe three weeks later, once again, inconveniencing me, waiting to see the updates of this sneaker, not knowing what's going on, not getting no information, not getting anything at all, they just decided to cancel the shoe. They never sent it to me. Now, it could go for hundreds of thousands of reasons why, but I would just wanna say like, that ruins your experience. And even after this, so y'all know, like I'm not being biased, even after this, because this was, wait, 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 
September 12th, 2017. This was four years ago. So as y'all can see, I'm clearly not holding on to a grudge because at the end of the day, I'm still willing to go on the app and say, hey, you know what? Maybe that was a one-off situation. Maybe it'll never happen again. You know what I'm saying? Hey, maybe I'm tripping. Actually, you know what? Let me go to my first purchase ever on uh, the Go app. And this is another one. LeBron Taxi. I bought this shoe in August 30th, 2016. I'm trying to, oh, I'm trying to show y'all this without showing my address real quick. Well, actually, it's my old address. So I don't really care. Look all the way at the bottom, bro. Bottom right here. August 2016. I can't cap to you. Bruh, I can't, I can't make this up, bro. I'm, I'm dead ass. I, I, I literally can't make this up. The problem with this shoe was once again, man, I bought a sneaker on the Go app after three to four weeks. I finally got an opportunity to finally get some feedback. And it was nothing but, hey, sorry here's a refund it's like bro where is my shoes okay like i get it i don't want to be seeming ungrateful here it's a lot of apps or it's a lot of other ways you can go through buying sneakers where you're not even refund guaranteed i get that it's cool but i keep coming up with the same problem every time i keep buying sneakers from this app and it's i'm not getting the product that i asked for now like i told y'all earlier in the video if it's a one-off thing i'm okay with that i understand when you run into business man things happen but as y'all can see this is a reoccurring problem every single time it seems like i'm buying shoes once again for my people who think i'm like starting problems and stuff like that i'm not okay and i also never even like held them to the agreed i'm holding them now because even after that happened in 2016 obviously when i bought the Kyrie in 2017 it happened to me again which means i was still able to use the app now here we are in freaking 2021 and still the same things is happening bro like that's five years of inconsistency bro at some point somebody gotta call it out i don't know what the problem is bro go app man y'all just gotta clean it up at this point when it comes to buying sneakers and things like that i understand that things can get a little bit out of hand but i just don't feel like the seller is being like held accountable for making sure that like yo bro what you put on this is what you gotta get and if you choose to not uphold what you just posted on this app then there's consequences maybe you know what i'm saying we I don't, I don't know like it's not my job to come up with uh ways to you know what i'm saying impact people that's not holding up the end of the bargain but i do know that it should have not happened at this amount of rate especially for a brand that's this big i mean go to app stock x ebay this is the three hit of monster that we actually deal with on a day-to-day -day basis in the sneaker community and for somebody like me bro who obviously show love i've done several videos on go app in a positive light i've never disrespected go app i've never said anything bad i've even done videos where i unboxed my first shoe from go app and everything like that and everything was perfectly fine so i don't think i'm coming from a place of malice or a one-sided place when i say look hey I'm just fed up now. Part of this really got a lot to do with me really having my eyes set for this shoe, bro. I really wanted this shoe. I thought I had a deal for it. I went out, I bought it. And now it's like freaking deja vu, bro. The same stuff just keep happening over and over and over. I don't know if this stuff happened to you guys, man, but if it do, then let me know down below in the comment section. I know I can't be like the only person going through these inconsistencies. If it is, then I'm actually hoping I am, actually, because I don't want anybody to go through the shit that I've been going through the last few days. And more importantly, I just want people that would like make the app look better. I'm not here to make the app look bad. I'm just here to share an experience with you guys. More than likely, this shoe will be canceled, bro. I've seen this story so many times. Not gonna lie, bro. It's still in the order stage with no progress at all two weeks later after i bought the shoe which is actually insane that person not to even like ship him off to go or have any other additional information man i'm not really sure bro i guess at this point it is what it is i'm gonna chalk it up as just like another go l going forward with the go app bro i don't know man i don't know i think this might be the start that breaks the camel back i might try like again i don't know bro like I, hey dead ass i don't know if anything changes i'll keep y'all updated i will make a second video or part two if they do actually decide to sell the shoes and ship it off and i actually am able to bring that to y'all but man it is what it is bro until next time it is your boy sniper jones you know i cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous but who really putting in that work though snipe squad i love y'all dream big